Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, and I'm here to give you the live news. And it look like Steph Curry don't want to be living around you Negroes. <laughs> so y'all leave a comment down below, man. Do you think Steph Curry should be canceled, you know, in this cancel culture? Because, you know, people love to be extra sensitive these days and people can't allow, can't be allowed to tell you the truth and tell you how they really feel. And Steph Curry basically like, you know what? I don't want you Negroes living by me, which I don't see a problem with it. All right. I honestly don't see a problem with it because Dave Chappelle actually came with this. He he came out and he had an issue with with his problem. If y'all don't remember, that was last year. Uh, Dave Chappelle uh, lives in a very nice area and they were going to build some. Uh some like lower income houses, lower income apartments around his multi-million home. And he like, nah, I don't want that. I don't see a problem with that, right? You work hard so you can live a certain way that you want to live, right? So you so you pay for that privacy. You, you pay for that luxury that, you know, nobody's going to be around you and you're going to live in a safe community. That's what you pay your money for, right? So... I don't see the problem with Stephen Curry not being a fan of, uh, you know, living by lower income homes. I don't see the problem with that because if I was Steph Curry, I would be the same way. So, you know, I know a lot of a lot of people is going to take this and be like, oh, well, Steph Curry ain't real. This is that. Nah, that has nothing to do with being real, right? There is a difference between being with the people and living with the people like you can support people and you can stand with people but living with them is two different things right like i can i can go to the hood and you know give my time and my efforts and donate and give back but do i want to live in the hood hell no who who wants to live in the hood i don't know why people glorify the hood like that's some type of uh, place that you want to live in no they only live there because they're forced to right i don't think anybody wants to be for what would voluntarily live in the hood if they didn't have other options right so let's read this right uh stephen curry isn't a fan of a possible housing development near his house all right so the golden star uh, he isn't pleased that the house development could be near his property in California. A letter of the champion with his wife, Aisha Curry, uh, wasn't enough to wasn't enough to convince the city council to uh, vote the adopting plans and include the adopting on Tuesday. Uh, One point five home and acres. The 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 Curry letter in their concern with both. Uh, both privacy and safety with their three-story townhome looming directly behind them. Uh, and my phone is going off right now. Um, to send a note, da 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 da. Safety and privacy for us and our kids continue to be our top priority, and one of the biggest reasons why we chose to live in the home that we live in. Uh, added the investment. A taller fencing and landscaping to block sight onto. So, so basically, what the Currys are saying is like, all right, well, if y'all do this, we just gonna build up a wall. <laughs> we gonna build up a wall so we can separate ourselves from everybody else. Which I don't see a problem with this. I have, I have no problem with Steph Curry having an issue with wanting to live with lower income people now. Just because someone has a lower income doesn't mean that it's going to be more crime. Doesn't mean that they're worse of a people or whatever the case may be. But you pay for what you get, right? If you invest it into a multi-million property, you're paying for that privacy. You're paying for that safety. You're paying to be excluded from regular people like me, right? I'm not expecting to live near 
Kyrie Irving. I'm not expected to live next to Michael Jordan or anybody else because I'm not in the same tax bracket, right? So they pay for privacy. They pay for protection. They pay to be excluded for their family and themselves. I don't have a problem with that because if I made as much money as them, I would do the same thing. I don't want to live around you niggas. <laughs> I don't want to live around you niggas. Nah. Put me in a nice area that is peaceful, that is calm, that is cool and collective, and I ain't got to worry about getting robbed. Get, nah, 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 nah. That's what you uh, strive to live in. You're supposed to strive to live in a nice, safe area where it's excluded from people and you can just do what you want to do. Isn't that like the American dream? So I don't see the problem. But I guess some people have, have a problem with Steph Curry uh, having a <laughs> saying that he's going to build a taller fence <laughs> and, and landscaping to block sight onto. Um, I don't I don't have a problem with this, but y'all leave a comment down below. Is this a big deal for y'all? Because I know a lot of people on social media is, you know, saying saying this and that, like, oh, my God, I can't believe Curry's doing this or Curry ain't black or Curry. He's supposed to be for the people, but he don't want to live with the people. You don't have to live with the people or, or live near the people to be with the people. Uh, <laughs> visiting the hood and living in the hood is two different things. You don't have to live in a hood to be hood, first of all, right? You don't have to live in a poor income housing to be black, right? So I don't I don't agree with, with uh, people that are trying to discredit Steph Curry because he don't want to live around you niggas. <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> Just to be honest, look, a 30 million mansion. If you pay 30 million dollars on a property would you want to live by some apartments i don't think you want to i don't see what the big problem is i don't see what the big deal is but you know this cancel culture is always trying to cancel somebody and people always have been people always be offensive and stuff like that i don't see the problem with this i really don't see the problem with this because if i was in the same situation i would be the same way so y'all leave a comment down below y'all let me know is Steph Curry not black no more? Is he not for the people no more just because he don't want to live by lower income housing? I don't think so. Because once again, isn't that what you work hard for? You work hard so you can live a certain type of lifestyle. So you can live in a certain type of location. So you can live in a certain type of area. I don't see the problem in that. <laughs> Salute to Steph Curry. Do your thing. You ain't got no backlash from me. But y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. It's your boy Damn D. Signing out, y'all. Peace.